Copy.ai is like the Swiss army knife of copywriting. Once you understand what you want to do, you can do a lot of things with it. You can chop something up, you can slice something, you can... I don't know what that was. If you're not familiar with copy.ai and what it does, what its features are, I did make other videos where I talk about the best ways to use a tool like copy.ai. This is kind of the next step. This is for people who are running their own e-commerce store, their own Shopify store, maybe selling a service. So in this video, I'm covering how you can scale your business using a tool like copy.ai and where you really need to be in your business journey so that you can get the full utility of a tool like this, especially if you're in media buying or you're writing social media content uh, or even at a sales role in real life. I do think there are applications where you can sell a product in real life even better using a tool like this. What I'm not gonna cover are things like what is copy.ai, what are the general features and benefits, like what does the software do? I'm not gonna cover GPT-3. These are all things that you can watch my other two videos and learn a little bit more about because they're pretty interesting. So with that, let's get started and let's dive right in. The trick with copy.ai is to know exactly what your customers need answered or what they want to know before they even know it. Now, this might sound confusing and don't worry, I'm about to break it down. If you think about it, really copy.ai's job for you is to magnify and amplify the things that you know your customers like to hear. And what's awesome is that if you've done the work to understand your customers really in depth and you know that they're looking for a specific feature that your product has or your service has, then you are way ahead and this is a huge sign that this tool can really help you. Essentially, you can use your customer knowledge about your product or service, something that you know for a fact has worked um, selling your product. And once you know that little string of information about your customer, that golden line that seems to really get their ears and their eyes lit up when you say it, this is where copy.ai really comes in to save the day and save you time because you can essentially use copy.ai to multiply this message and say it in hundreds of different ways. If you take a step back and think about it, a lot of things that we learn in business and in life in general are pretty much the same lessons over and over and over again, but they're just told in different ways. That's why so many personal development books pretty much arrive at the same conclusion, but we still read them because different words and different combinations of words seem to hit our ears different. Some slap harder than the others. Some just don't really do it for us. We're bored by maybe the jargon full Jargonful, is that a word? Jargonful explanations. For me specifically, I like simple explanations. I don't like big words, that's just me. It's like kind of the same reason why certain phrases in culture get really played out. For example, if you say, damn Daniel. Damn Daniel, back at it again with the white man. For some people it's like, oh yeah, that's funny. That's like, that was like a trend, that was cool. But for other people, it might be like, oh my God, dude, that was so cringe. Like, please never say that ever again. I think that kind of applies to the marketing world as well. When you're copywriting, they're just phrases and words that people will ignore or just have a bad association with. So they just program their brain not to really respond to it. Let me share with you an example from my own life when I just started my first business without going too deep into what I was selling and the overall idea of my business. The idea is like eco-friendly shoes where I would brand the footwear as like vegan leather shoes, okay? So like just go with me here, all right? So when I launched my business, I knew I wanted to go to trade shows and festivals because I figured that's kind of where I do best in a sales situation. And even though these trade shows were like very grueling and were a pretty poor exchange of time and value, there was one thing that I don't think I would have learned anywhere else. These customers would come in and when I was first getting started, I would just say things like, hi, welcome, let me know if you have any questions. And I would just kind of let them do their shopping. Very kind of passive right there. Then I started doing something different. When people would come into the booth, I would ask them a question. I would say, hey, have you ever heard of vegan leather shoes? So either they would say, no, I've never heard of that. What is that? 
or they would say, yeah, I actually am familiar with vegan leather shoes and I have some dress shoes that are vegan. And what I discovered was that every time I said, yeah, what makes us different as a shoe company is that our vegan materials will last over 10 years without peeling or cracking. That seemed to like get everyone's attention. A lot of people would have a change in their entire body language, like eyes light up, they would take do they would do double takes like oh what like people who weren't even in the conversation were like what like what'd you say like well i would hear all these different like responses and be like oh like i don't need to keep on pounding that these shoes are comfortable or that the design is nice or that the that we're having a sale because this string of information has done the best job at getting people's attention. So like that was essentially my version of like discovering that 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 beautiful line of words that just happened to resonate with my audience. And the thing is that's going to be different for every single business because you guys have different audiences, different products. That's why I say, you know, a tool like copy.ai can't help you answer questions uh, or really interact with your customers for you, you kind of have to know what that golden line is, that piece of information that's going to get people's attention is. Like you gotta know what that is. <laughs> Little personal anecdote there, but now that you know what that was for me, you can start to think about interactions that you've had with people where they seem genuinely interested. Think about the interactions you've had that wasn't family or friends because you know our family and friends, they love us, they're a little biased, they're gonna seem interested maybe when they're not really interested. And if you haven't experienced that, then you need to change up your sales pitch and try to you know figure that part out and you will find it, it's just a matter of variation. It took me like six months and like seven different trade shows for me to find that so it's, you know, it definitely takes work to test what kind of lines work and what doesn't work. So let's get back to the actual tool. So once you actually have this piece of information, you can use all of copy.ai's wonderful tools to essentially magnify it. Let's say you're running some Facebook ads. This is something that I've done as well, but I've taken that line that I just shared with you and I have put it into copy.ai so that it can pretty much multiply hundreds of different other similar types of copy um, so that I could use it and deploy it on my ads. Then I then you can kind of test to see which one uh, is the most effective um, just based off like how many clicks and uh, they're just general response of your Facebook ads. So quick disclaimer, um, if you are in the stage of building your business where you're still trying to get a product market fit, I'm just gonna say it up front, copy.ai might not be 100% worth it for you. I do think that you can utilize it to maybe make the process um, quicker in ways, but ultimately once you do have proof of product market fit, you can really go guns blazing with a tool like this. Now I wanna kinda transition to talking about copy.ai and some of the upgrades that I've noticed in the past couple months. You know, I was a really early adopter in the software, so I saw it when it was kind of like in its first version, and there were definitely some flaws, some clunky parts of the software, but let me just talk about some quick pros and cons about the copy.ai right now on October 10th, 2021. Let's start with the advantages. Now, first off, the actual outputs, the AI generated responses are like way better in my opinion. They actually tend to be a lot more relevant and they don't have a lot of like gibberish like they used to. No shade at you copy.ai, just saying. There were some really funny responses that I would get you know, back in the day when, you know, they were still kind of working out some of the flaws. But I can safely say after testing out some of the features and different tools that I definitely noticed a huge difference, a huge upgrade in the actual AI generated responses, which is ultimately the goal, right? It just gives me more confidence as a user because, you know, before when you're using a product that is supposed to help you in copywriting and it has like some kind of grammatical error, it kind of makes you lose confidence in the product. So this is a sign not only that the product's improving, but the team behind it is really, really 
they put a lot of care. Let's just put it that way. Definitely more relevant and less gibberish. Second of all, there is a fresh new UI. If you log in, you can actually go through the tools. Everything's kind of broken down into projects now. So if you have like a Facebook ad, you want to have a certain copy, but you have like a TikTok ad, you have a certain kind of copy, then you can separate those and then choose accordingly which response you think would would fit better. You could save before, but it was kind of like all one big blob of like saved copy. And sometimes you would forget, oh, did I want to use this copy for a blog or a Facebook ad? And the third advantage is that longer inputs, like more detailed descriptions around your service and product are seemingly getting better results. I remember back in the day, like a few months ago, copy.ai would be better when you put in short descriptions, like vegan leather shoes. But now I can like write out a whole paragraph, it seems, about my product and its product features, um, and that we offer free shipping and returns, and it will actually have more relevant outputs than it did before. Like that's just like really huge. It's way more relevant to what you are selling. So I'll say that is a huge improvement that I've noticed. Um, so very, very excited to see how it continues to improve. Now, the only disadvantage I would say is that the amount of tools on copy.ai can be a little daunting. There's like a bunch of tools and even though they're segmented and categorized, I do feel like they can at least add a short description when you do click on a tool and at least like give me a one or two sentence like brief on exactly what kind of outputs I can expect when using this tool. Even though most of them are like very, very straightforward at face value. You know what you're gonna get kind of. It's not the case for every single tool. Just like something stupid obvious that like when I click on it, there's a short description and I know that, oh yeah, like this is exactly what I'm looking for sort of thing. Because at this point you already have so many tools. Why not just go the extra step and like go more specific with what that tool is going to spit out for you. And I think that would just save me a little time as a user personally. And before I head out, you are more than welcome to try copy.ai for yourself. I'm going to include a little link down below. There is a free trial and you should try it anyways and see if it really does help with your business. That's what I would recommend with that. I really appreciate you just stopping by and listening. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if you have any softwares you'd like me to review. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.